Hi everyone, my name is Matvey, and today I will show you how to start using the local API with multi-login application. You can also find all the necessary information in the article on the official website. And as you can see, first of all, we have to predefine the port on which the multi-login will be working. And we can do that by going into the multiloginapp.com folder, which is located in the user directory. Please also note that this folder may be hidden by the settings of your operating system. And here we need to open the app.properties file. And this can be done using any text editor. And here we need to specify the port on which the multi-login will be working. In this case, it's 35,000. Now you can save and close the file and then reopen the application if it was launched already. And also there is some information on how the application can be launched using the command line interface and how you can launch it in the headless mode. But this time we will use the graphical interface. The local API endpoints are described in our Swagger documentation. And as we can see in the version 2 of local API documentation, there are such endpoints as create profile, uh, get a list of profiles, update profile, delete profile, transfer it to version 5, and update the browser core version. You can create a profile with random parameters using this request body by specifying the name, operating system, and the type of browser. And you can get familiar with all the available parameters in the request body of update profile endpoint. Other endpoints such as start profile, stop profile, import cookies, and others are available in the version 1 of the local API documentation. There are also a few links to the code examples for Selenium and Puppeteer and the rate limits. And please note that the automation features are only available for scale and automate subscriptions. Now let's open up the application. As we can see, there are no profiles created as of now. And let's try to run a simple Selenium script. The script is based on the code example from the article. The script will create a profile with random fingerprints. It will launch the profile and perform the automation. It will go to multi-login web page and output the number of days online from the main page. So let's run the script. As we can see, the API returned code 200, meaning that the profile was created. Now it's launched. And it should output this number of days. Yes, as we can see, the script successfully did its job. And this is how you can run Selenium scripts with multi-login browser profiles. And if you have any questions, you can always contact our customer support and we will happily answer any of your questions. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Bye.